Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connectivity issue with the first descendant game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem. Next is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically. Both are on over here. So here. So if these are turned off, you can turn it on. So turn on set time automatically. Also turn on set time zone automatically and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. This is important. If it does not sync, click on sync now once again. And then go to language and region and make sure right country is selected over here. Make sure that you have your country selected over here and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Trend Micro. So whichever antivirus program you have, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So this is just an example. I'll show you how to allow it. Uh, I'll show you with Windows security. I don't have any third party antivirus. So if you have any third party antivirus, you can open your antivirus program and then allow the game exe file. In Windows security, you can open Windows settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. When you open Windows 10, you will see update and security option. You have to click on update and security. Windows 11 users click on privacy and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now if the game is installed, installed from Steam, then you can open Steam. And then open Steam apps. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In Now if the game is installed, like now if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher or EA app or any other platform so you have to open that for EA games you can open EA games and then go to the game in open the game folder and if you have the game from epic game then you can open the epic games folder and then go to game folder so go to the game installation folder so I'll show you a different game this is just an example you, you select your game whichever is the game you have to select the exe file of that particular game so this is just an example so select the game exe file and then click on open and check if there is any other exe file for the game sometimes you have other exe file so if you have any other exe file you can add it so add the exe file of the game over here this is just an example you select your game and select uh, your exe file and then now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app. Now click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open the game folder. And this is just an example. You have to select, you have to find your game installation folder and then open the game folder. This is just an example. Select the game exe file, whichever game it is and then click on add and once it is added again click on allow, allow another app now click on browse and then if you have second exe file any other exe file of the game find the other exe file if you don't have it you can skip it so if you find any other exe click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. So shut down your computer. After you shut down the computer, you unplug the power cable from the computer. So disconnect the power cable 
and after you disconnect the power cable, press and hold the power button on your computer for a few seconds. This will release the static electricity from the computer and then after a few seconds, once you press and hold the power button for a few seconds, after that you can release the power, uh, you can release the power button key. Now you can turn off the Wi-Fi router. So turn off your Wi-Fi router and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then after that restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to disable manual proxy. Now for this open windows settings, go to network and internet. The steps are same for windows 10 users. Now once you go to network and internet, now in windows 10 uh, on the left hand side you will find proxy. When you select network and internet on the left hand side you will find proxy. So click on proxy and then if manual proxy is on over here in my case this is already off so if manual proxy is on you can turn it off and then launch the game now the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and run all the commands one by one so copy the first command paste it on the command prompt window hit the enter key now run the second command paste it hit the enter key make sure that you select the command properly so i think i may have made a mistake over here so make sure that you copy it exactly and then run all the commands one by one Now once done, you have to restart a computer. Make sure that you restart a computer after this. Restart is a must. Now after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because once you perform network reset, when you restart a computer, it will restart during the network reset, the system will restart. And when you try to connect to your network, it will be asking for your password. So make sure that you have the password to perform network reset. Again, open Windows settings. And the steps are same for Windows 10 and users 10 and 11. So go to network and internet. And in Windows 10, when you select network and internet, when you scroll down at the very bottom, at the end, you will find network reset option in Windows 10. In Windows 11, click on advanced network settings. Then you will find network reset. And then click on reset now. And then click on yes. And once you click on yes, I'm not clicking yes, but you can click on yes. Now, once you click on yes, your it will perform a network reset and it will restart a computer. And after the system restart, when you try to connect to your Wi-Fi, it will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. So it will be asking for your pass password, enter the password and then log in and then launch the game and then check. Now, if you have any other network, you can try switching to different network. Now for this, if you have any other network available, you can connect to different. So you can connect to different internet, different network. And once you're connected, now you can try to launch the game. Now, the next step is to use use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use Ethernet connection. So you can go for wired connection and that will provide you stable connectivity. So you can go for Ethernet connection and then launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to, the last step is to update your Windows. So open Windows settings, go to update the security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.